Hello again, this is Jungle Scout Part 2, where we go into doing some competitive research. So, sticking with the previous theme of the pacifier, um, we're going to go into the first sponsored ad, because this is a headline ad. And what that means is that this is the type of ad that someone runs who has built out a branded store, hopefully. Uh, not all the time do people build out their branded store, even though they really should. It, what it means is that they've submitted a trademark to Amazon for bibs or for this, this logo, um, and that they are eligible to kick off anyone, actually, uh, that is infringing. So if someone tries to um, sell the same product uh, with... Um, and they find out they're allowed to get them removed from Amazon. Um, if they do have a, a map um, or a minimum advertised price, um, there is potential there. And again, I'm not a lawyer, but um, this is just my understanding of Amazon and um, from working with clients. And so this store isn't really a good example. Um, because as you can see, um, they're just the products. There's not really um, anything specific to this um, that I would consider proprietary. Um, as an example, they, they do have good product imagery, um, but they, it does not look like they have enhanced brand content. Uh, to really showcase their brand in a better format. Now, if I'm going to do some competitive analysis with Jungle Scout, I might look at this specifically because I want to see under the bibs how they're doing. How is their monthly sales? How are they ranking? What's the price point? You know, information specifically about the top competitors in the niche that I'm analyzing. So I can see. Great. I mean, that's almost a thousand sales at fifteen dollars. Um, you know, that's a, a good chunk of revenue, right? Just shy of fifteen thousand dollars a month. Um, and three hundred and twenty reviews, not a huge competition. This one is just over fifteen grand a month, so it looks like you know it's pretty consistent, right? They have a several products doing pretty well. They're doing thousands you know, tens of thousands of dollars um, combined and on their different listings. And they have, um, these are variations of their product. You know, these are different pieces. So each of these individual products is doing that much, which is great. I mean, that's, that's what you really want to see because that shows that if you had a variation and you took, you know, a few thousand dollars, you could spread out your variations and make thousands of dollars a month um, and really get to a, a, a supplementary income level um, off of a product like this. Um, so as we go down, you know, there are some in here that they don't have enough data on. Maybe they, they're not really doing that many sales um, or maybe um, there's no active, um, you know, there's no inventory right now. You know, some of these are low, um, but even if you're doing, you know, a few thousand dollars a month or ten thousand dollars a month, um, this is really great for um, that one company. And you can see they're doing six to eight months, right? 18 to 36 months, and they have, you know, three different sets of colors. So, um, really, six variations here because I can pick a different set of months and have the same three variations. So this is six, uh, three, six, nine options right in here. And, um, and that's just in this one thing, right? This one product. Um, so that's really good for understanding the variations. Um, now, if you go to um, a page like we just were at, um, or if we go to a branded store, we should be able to pull up and see if there's any data um, specifically on all of their products. Now, if in this case, like we're seeing there's nothing to display, 
that's because there's nothing actually connected to this. Um, so Amazon or so Jungle Scout may have trouble with with branded stores, and you may want to go to products that just have um, a good number of variations. Um, so let's look at here's a sponsored one. Now see they only have two of these, so I would not assume that they're going to have very good content. They do have a couple of related short videos, but these were also uploaded by a customer in quotes. Now, if you look at the video, it's clearly not a customer, but um, this 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 doesn't look like um, it's it's what we really want to see as far as a competitor. Um, just to go back to the previous term and see how that changes things. Um, okay. And if you're ever looking for a, a branded store page, um, you can also click on the company and see, um, you'll see too if they're selling other items, which is always interesting. Um, so I'm gonna do another one. Um, so let's look at skincare. Um, I also like using Listerine as an example. So let's go to B Spa. No, we're gonna use Listerine then. So Listerine has really good, not just here, but um, if we go down to their branded store, um, they have a very nice branded store. Um, and this is more of what you want to see in branded store. Um, if we go to any one of these products, we'll be able to see um, enhanced brand content. And what I mean by that is, I mean, this is a great uh, graphic to help talk about how it fights gum, gum disease and gingivitis, um, how many times you should use it, right? Recommended times. Um, it, it really breaks things down. And so if you're talking about, let's say an orthopedic pacifier, uh, going back with the theme, um, this would be great to have you know, how long should should the pacifier be given to a child? Um, is is there, um, you know, what the benefit is for their mouth and their gums and their formation? Um, if there's maybe things that you can do that help it boost the, the benefits, right? So if you, um, brushing reaches 25%, Listerine clears 100. So, you know, maybe the, the format is you you go and you use Listerine and then you brush, right? Um, so any sort of those little tidbits uh, that are really gonna help with improving the effectiveness of the product um, or uh, looking at, you know, maybe comparing orthopedic, right, um, options. Maybe there's an orthopedic option that forms to the uh, roof of the mouth and then there's one that's rounded um, and describing you know, that you maybe need a variety pack when you have a newborn uh, because newborns do not all like the same types of pacifiers. As I found out recently, they do not uh, all want the same type and they all, there are numerous different types and sizes. Um, so sometimes you have an, uh, a brand new baby and they want the... Um, the largest size pacifier, and they really won't be happy unless that's the one that they have. So, you know, having a variety pack could be really great for helping figure out, like, does your, does your child like a rounded tip, or do they want something that fills the, the roof of their mouth? Do they want something that's, um, you know, bulbous and just uh, big, like, you know, do they want a different size? Um, 
and kind of what those benefits are um, versus letting them suck on their thumbs, right? So what does uh, thumb sucking do to your child? And all of those things in a, in a graphic or um, where people can read more, where they can view the image or understand um, what trials have been done. Um, and some of that, you know, you can do some research to really find and help pull together in designing your graphic. But the more informative and the more uh, relevant it is to your end customer, the happier they're going to be. So in that research, um, looking at this, right, uh, again, we're going to say, okay, so, you know, number of reviews, how is that? Is there a second page to extract? Um, and how is everything going? So we're mixing in Listerine with Crest 3D. Now, what's good to, to note about this is that even though these are ones that you would want to take out, this also might be a product bundle opportunity. So bundling Listerine or having Listerine create a, um, not just a, a toothpaste, right? So if Listerine offered a toothpaste and they made that a bundle opportunity where someone could hit this by both for $10 um, instead of one, because clearly people are frequently um, purchasing it, right? So Ziploc is another example. A lot of people are purchasing Ziploc bags with Listerine. Um, this is a related product, so it's something that people might look at. Um, if Listerine had their own toothpaste that they wanted to promote um, with this, that would be really useful. Um, and then, you know, looking at um, what, you know, what, finding out what your competitors are doing. Who, who are the top people in your market? So um, in this, this is kind of the end of the video, but uh, I'd love to see some questions down below. Uh, feel free to use my link and uh, get me a cup of coffee for uh, using the Jungle Scout plugin. Um, and feel free to let us know uh, what you'd like to see next in a video and what would be helpful for um, using this uh, long term because we really want to see you grow uh, we work with a lot of Amazon clients, and I love to see how your business can really be expanded from this amazing sales machine. I mean, uh, Amazon just hit over 50% last year of all U.S. e-commerce sales, and um, that was in 2018, in case last year is a future year, but um, it's... I mean, it is a phenomenal place to sell and the rate of return on your investment. I don't, I don't think there is a better place. So anyways, I uh, hope you're having a great day and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing your comments and questions below.